Here we go. We are live at Barstool New York offices. The Merman, we got Pasha working the controls. Uh, and Mikey G's here, obviously, with us as well. And welcome to Game Notes, episode 24, all presented by DraftKings Merles. Good to see you here. He took the train. Yeah, we'll get to my train stories later. <laughs> but first, I got to tell you about the DraftKings. Hockey fans, playoffs time is here. We've teamed up with DraftKings, as you know, to help fuel the action. Say hello to their newest way to play fantasy sports, Pick 6. New customers can get up to $200 back in Pick 6 credit if your first pick set loses. Select between two to six hockey players and choose if they're going to have more or less of a stat. Then track your lineup and compete against others for a shot at huge cash prizes. Getting started is simple. Download the DraftKings Pick 6 app and sign up using code Chicklets. The crown is yours. We're going to be talking a ton of DraftKings today later on because we got all the playoffs all set. We got the series. We got the cup futures. DraftKings got it all for us. I love it. I, I can't wait. I, I, I love it, Merles. I know you've been in the lab just concocting plans. Uh, I know we've got a big weekend also leading into this as well, which we'll get to uh, just company-wise with a bunch of stuff going on, G. Uh, great episode that you got the coach on the podcast immediately after national champion. That wasn't me. That was wit. Was it wit? Got to give credit to wit. Yeah. I, I oh. was trying, I was trying to track down his number. And when I texted, I knew Witt, you were talking about it. Yeah. Which I, right away I went to work. I tried texting a couple DU players and I asked wit for drew shores phone number. And he right away said, if you're looking for Carl, I already got him 3 PM tomorrow. I'm like, there we go. Witty. Wow. Let's go. Let's I, go. I had that since last year when I, we, and game notes, I was wanted to do a, a coach's, uh, preseason prediction. So I got a hold of him and I got his number and I had Benny Barr. I thought we could have them both come on Whoa. one from East, one from West. But then I also got to run into him while we're on the subject. Let's recap Minnesota. I went oh. out with the Denver group afterwards, after the game and got to say hello to him and congratulate him. And, and what a time that was. Those kids were amazing. I met the goalie, the star of the show. Great kid. Oh, what a stud Calgary kid, Western boy, Ooh. go figure stole the show. <laughs> Boston Thank Buckburger, you. you get to meet that guy. Oh yeah, my guy. I, I don't remember meeting him. No, I didn't. Shout out to Bucky. Boston Buckburger. <laughs> Waved at us at the suite with his parents and family. Um, amazing. I, I was on the underdogs. I just arm dog loves the underdog, and we I rolled with it. And, and Boston Buckburger slayed both Boston teams. I thought all the signs were coming together, boys. Mm -hmm. uh, but you said it all along in the box, Merle's. Like the box is like when we were in that box watching. Shout out to Mr. Cargill, Mr. Jim Cargill, of course, for getting us in there. But when we were watching, um, Merle's, you were casino Merle's in the box. <laughs> you were full casino uh, Merle's. I <laughs> wish people could understand, like, fully what casino Merle's actually is. He's, he's just a, he's the nicest human being here in, in every aspect of life. You get him in the casino, just a different animal. animal. Yeah, but I need to be winning. I need to be winning like yeah. that. I, I had that game dialed in. I knew the under... I was betting. Oh. I was betting unders in the period. I was doing everything. That was that was an easy one. Yeah, absolutely. And it was it was it was a great game. It was tight. Every game was fun. It was electric. Congrats to uh, the Frozen Four the tournament, the media people for getting us and helping us and they were the having it all set up. I mean, we got an interview also with OT winning hero Tristan Bros, who I don't I haven't seen or anything. Is he signed with Pittsburgh yet? No, yet. They, no, they, they didn't, they didn't ink him up yet. Um, but Pittsburgh pick, we got a quick interview with him. Thanks to his butter buddy, Connor, who was with us. Uh, great guy. Shout out to him too. Made the weekend awesome for us. So, um, and then, and then you went out with the team or how did you meet up with them? What the uh, hell happened there? My buddy, Max Bowles, an alumni two-time champion back to back with Ryan Caldwell back in the early two thousands and met him for, for a cocktail. And then, uh, next thing you know, he was getting the call to, to go see the alumni and all the families and everything. So, Pulled out my old RA. I feel like RA would have done that. He would have snuck in with the oh, families yeah. and been hanging out. Well, so. we could have done that last year yeah. too with uh, Quinnipiac because yeah. we were in the Quin Quinnipiac box. But I get the feeling like uh, we were kind of with the uh, the step brother of the of the team, mm -hmm. you know, of the alumni association oh, with yeah. Whitey. Whitey and his crew. 100%. Shout out to Whitey. He was texting me through the whole frozen four and stuff. It would have been cool. If Quinnipiac would have been there. All those guys would have been there again. Gee, it was it was crazy. Early predictions for next year. Far, far too early predictions. I love doing this. I got Minnesota winning it all next year over Boston College. 
Really? Yeah. Yeah, I saw I like Leonard's it. going yeah. back. Uh, I think BC's running it back. Yeah. It sounds yeah. like it. But uh, I Minnesota got uh, Matthew Wood from UConn. Snuggerud's coming back. More again coming back. They're just they're going to be loaded. Wow, I like that. I haven't even thought about that. Maine lost their big guy in a dough. But yeah, they've got they'll, they'll be better. The, they'll be they've they'll hit be the transfer better. portal pretty hard. Yeah, it'll be even better. So. I expect to see them in the Frozen Four. How about that? That'll be it. I'll say Maine will be at the Frozen Four in St. Louis. I think we're all going to be there. Biz had the time of his life. I haven't seen him that happy on a trip in a long time. So I think Game Notes and Chicklets is solidified as Frozen Four. Posh had a wedding, couldn't be there. Obviously, priorities, priorities for Pasha, but not a big deal. Not a big deal. Wait, speaking of trips, I know we have to get to playoffs. I have to get your guys' opinion. Biz announced last night. He's coming out of retirement from drinking for the Beer Olympics oh, I know. in Las Vegas. What are your guys' thoughts on that? So, and can Yance can drink too, right? I imagine. I imagine. So he said another hockey player's there. I, I I know the real deal. James Neal was there last year, and he looked to be pretty puddled in that Beer Olympics. And I I just think I know Biz is coming in talking a big game, but like you you know as a drinker, anyone that drinks, everyone almost drinks. You can't go in cold like that. No, you can't. He's go gonna in dry. be fucking destroyed. Oh yeah, you gotta marinate that liver a little bit yeah. to get ready. So <laughs> I used to do that before just a regular Vegas trip back in the day. Be like, oh, I gotta go out Tuesday, Wednesday, just to, for a few, so you don't shock the body when you get there Thursday through but Sunday. He's been doing this for the past few years. Like Fort Lauderdale, that was like six months off. He went. Nashville too last Nashville, year. Nashville, it was yeah. another six months off. It's like he goes so fucking hard. It's like. I can't dispute it. Do you think he's uh, like, the thing is though, is like, I mean, it's the Olympics. It's not like you're just going out with yeah. us at the end of the year when he decides to break it, he's going into, he's going into like the Coliseum of drinking. <laughs> yeah. With some competitive bastards. Yeah. They play like flip cup and beer pong. And oh, it's yeah. all that. Stuff. They're like yeah. wrestling I, I think, each I'm, other. I'm going to start where I think we need to go on that. I think we need in there too. Someone it's, throw it's during, that out it's during the draft. It's like right around the draft. Bro, so you would be up there. So. I think you would be up there on, if I was biz on guys, I'd want to add would be Merle's. I, you drink they, a million beers. They, they called yeah. me Maddie one flip back in college. So <laughs> Merle's actually took me to my first ever college party. <laughs> obviously played in the dub played junior went to the minors with merles we went to a college party in the mindsies though mm-hmm. took me there first time i ever saw what do they call it they had like a tub full of like illegal dr- uh jungle juice. Uh, jungle juice jungle juice jungle juice, juice baby <laughs> jungle juice so i had some jungle juice i heard you can go blind from that stuff maybe like you we would be- dump like pre-workout in there and yeah, stuff yeah there's too, like, like this is a crazy concoction it was in a tupperware bin in the corner i'm like what is this <laughs> And you're supposed to like scoop your cup in there and just scoop some of it out. I, I was like, whatever, what's going on in here? And then I heard some horrific stories about you, you got to keep an eye on that. Oh, yeah. Because stuff might be going in there. Like, not that like you're interested in like <laughs> hosing down, the, you know, it's just disgusting yeah. stuff. So, uh, but we played flip cup yeah. first time I'd ever done that. Yeah. And we did like boat races, chugging, flipping, you know, you have yeah. to chug, then flip. Is that, yeah, is yeah. that just flip cup? That's flip cup. Yeah. Boat races. Was a boat, oh, boat race. Beer pong is, you know, we did beer pong. That. I never did beer knocked pong. Quarters, not the quarters. In. Merle's is unbelievable at beer pong. So you just don't like you went right from high school to just juniors. You like you missed like you don't you never played I drinking never, games or no, like I never we never did the college life. We just hung out in juniors with the guys. Rode but high buses school, you and, never did the drinking games or no, not really. Some people play like cards. Yeah, I never we did a lot of cards in high school. Really? I never really did like any of that stuff. Yeah. So like to go do that with Merle's, I, I, I missed all that. And I remember always saying like, Oh, I'd have been unreal at college. I can do oh, this is so fun. This is so good. The thing about me that I would be horrible at is, and wit can testify. Merle's can testify. Biz can horrible hangover guy. Oh, the worst. Oh, like, I am yeah. the worst oh, the hangover. Anxiety is the worst. Oh, my God. It's just, it's, it's almost not worth it for me. And I'm, a, I'm kind of a lightweight. Like, I get a couple going, and then, and then I'm like, uh, once I get going, I'm like, I'm like, biz. I just, I can't, I just get it cranking. And then it's just laying in a ball in the shower the next day. Shout out to the chat. The chat's hanging in here. Yeah, they're Hang honest. Dog. They're honest about hockey. So let's let's jump to the chat lay. Let's. It's not a parlay okay. this week. My, 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 they want to get some is hockey. Humming, they're yeah, saying. Oh, I got some humming going. Mm. Good. Um, no, no parlay, but one of these games on Saturday is going to an overtime. I'm, I'm almost guaranteeing that. I'm not allowed to guarantee that, but. One of them is going to go to overtime. <laughs> Which one is going to go on Saturday? Carolina <laughs> Islanders, Toronto, Boston. I like option B. Singsy said Merle's likes malt liquor. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not a malt liquor guy. 
beer, uh, beer, wine, Pink Whitney. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, he's he's just he's he's just a brand whore. He's just yeah. going for all the brands. I love it. What do we, what's he really chatting saying guy. here? Toronto, Boston, A B. It's got to be A. It's got to be A. Oh, well, I love it. Hey boys, we were talking before we came on, and I I want to talk about it yesterday too. Just a little update. So first of all, after Frozen Four, me and Biz flew out at five thirty a.m. Four o'clock pickup. Biz did a double header that started at twelve thirty, and I did the multi versus game, which was like kind of cool. I didn't know what I was getting into when I went in there. Uh, ended up Velma scored a goal, which is crazy in the <laughs> NHL. That's unbelievable. Batman scored a goal in this game. Unbelievable. It was Colorado against Vegas. So it was really cool to do that with TNT. So flew right from there to Atlanta, then right back Monday night Penn's game, which was great. Um, they beat Nashville and then it set up itself up for, you know, the Tuesday, Wednesday, who's getting in the playoffs in the East for that wild card race, which made for a crazy week. It was, it was insane. Um, I want to toss this past you guys in that scenario, even in the chat, Jay Caulfield mentions to me, they should do like the NFL does. And then maybe they could have flexed the schedule or, or, or made some things move around. Do you think that they should have bumped those Tuesday night games, the Detroit game with Montreal, where they went back to back, just bump it to Wednesday. Bump the Islanders also that game or, or who, who, what was the other game where Washington, Washington, Philly bump that game to Wednesday as well. Sorry. And then, and then you got penguins against the Islanders on Wednesday and it would have made like a play in three games start at seven o'clock. It, it's rare that this will ever happen again, possibly, but imagine the guy should the NHL the, of like, that's the how all the European leagues do it. They oh, all really? play the last day and they all play at the last time. So there's no funny business that's in the soccer. It's in the hockey because nobody wants to like it kind of happened with Tortorella. Yeah, he pulled the goalie. He could have pulled the goalie. It ended up not mattering it, but that's why they all start at the same time on the last day. So there's no funny business. And also they get the same amount of rest to the playoffs. So it's going to be a little weird. Some teams are going to have a couple extra days rest. Like it's huge this time of year. Yeah. Will in the chat says 100% bump the schedule. I think it would be kind of forward thinking of the NHL to think like that for the fans for like one big, I know the schedule set, everything set, but don't they do this in NFL where it's set and then they flex games and they move times around. Yeah, they on move certain, game times. They move game times around and, and flex it a little bit. And I mean, it's the last game of the year for all these teams. They should have just bumped it to that Wednesday. I know, I know there was back to back situation there too. Just give them an extra day and just say, "Hey, we're going to do the this big, you know, playoff bowl with these three teams starting at seven o'clock." It would have made for an electric night. Instead, I had to do the Wednesday night game, Pens on the Island, and it was like a nothing game. Uh, ended up being Jeff Carter night, who retired nineteen years. Congrats to Big Jeff Carter, amazing career, two Stanley Cups, great, great guy. And traveling with the team boys, just one more thing on Carter. He, he's the one guy on the team that would like get up, mosey on back to the, you know, our area where us pigeons sit and come and just like chat it up. Just a, just a solid old school guy. Big. You guys are the only ones his age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the he's other guys not. were playing video games and stuff. Yeah. He didn't know what to do. I got to go back. Where's the guys drinking wine? Yeah, exactly. That's what he did. Yeah. He'd come back with his little cup and hang out, lean on the chair. He's so chill and, and such a great guy. Congrats on a great career. Stole a Calder cup from us, him yeah. and Richards and, in Philly came up and, and were unbelievable uh, knocking us out of the playoffs and marching to a Calder cup. So he's got that too. He's got Olympic gold as well. Uh, a great career. I know you guys touched on Silverberg retired last night as well. Uh, and it looks like I'm seeing some stuff on socials right now to not much fanfare, but Alex Goligoski after 18 years, uh, the goose has landed and will With hang old roommate. I think, yeah, he was in Pittsburgh for a while there too. Yeah. Um, and had a good run and was in and out of the lineup at the end and somehow survived 18 years. Uh, yeah. Great job. Way to hang in there, Goose. We see you. Congrats on a great career. Um, before we came on, though, too, boys, and I want to uh, maybe it's good for the chat before we get to real hockey stuff. I, I got on, my wife got me off this fluoride toothpaste. <laughs> I'm off of it. I just went to it. It's like this black toothpaste. Tastes really good, actually. I got a charcoal toothbrush as well. Have you guys seen this? It's all black. It's like what you use on a grill. Yeah, it's just like charcoal infused bristles or something. It's oh, it's geez. it's supposed to be really good for you. I, I know Biz is in big into dental health. I did that, and I just found out too. And, and this is just me doing my own medical analysis on myself. I think I'm allergic to like underarm deodorant. 
I got to go with like chemical free or something. Like I got to make it off Instagram, maybe like a butter and shove it into an old <laughs> tube. And I don't I'm know. I'm trying to wean myself off deodorant. That sounds crazy, but like, <laughs> oh, this is I'm, tr I'm trying. I'd just... be like the ice people in Arizona. I know. There's a couple of them that <laughs> I know. I'm not off the deodorant. I'm not a big sweater though. I've never really sweat much. And I always used to load myself up with deodorant. It's linked to tons of different cancers, all this bullshit. I'm just, I'm trying to get out, get away from it. Uh, Laura right. saying, try the, try native charcoal. It's it's legit. I'm guessing is that a toothbrush or is I, that toothpaste? The toothpaste is oddly black. It's it's like darker, but apparently it like really whitens your teeth and it's supposed to be healthy. I'm I'm uh, I don't know, but like I got, I got like this armpit thing. I don't know. It's just bugging me lately. Something happened in my body. I'm old now, 41. I don't know. I I, I got to get another. Hit me up in the chat. I'll be watching. I'll be perusing the chat on the deodorant deodorant the spray. The arms empick. It's the arms. <laughs> These TikTokers will get you guys to do anything. <laughs> Holy cow. So, okay, moving on, moving on. Let me know in the chat. I need to, I need, I need some help here, boys. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Well, I see Laura in the chat and I know she's not happy. She's a little upset that the coyotes are going to Utah. Oh, uh, I got a couple things on it. Number one, we were on this right away. I think we were talking expansion mm -hmm. and we we're like, Oh, Salt Lake city yep. soakers. I love how, <laughs> I love how the only thing they've come out with is we're not using Salt Lake yeah. right? it's Utah. So that thought that was funny. Also, I'm awful. Rumor boys have been awful this year. I, I smelled the rat first on this Arizona thing. When those pictures came out, Yes, you a couple did. episodes ago, yes, I did. said, that's the mindsies. There's nothing ever going to happen there. Very true. So I smelt that rat out. Third and final thing, Utah, where it all started, game notes. I mean, that's the thing, too. That's the thing, too. Yeah. I got my eyes welded shut in, in Utah. Yeah. That was the fight. <laughs> that's what happened. Gavin Morgan. This is the tie-in. Gavin Morgan. Denver. Yeah. Denver wins the Frozen Four. Utah. The eyes signs. welded shut. Game note story. Alexander Dagg. Check the game notes, bud. Everything happened. It's all coming together for game notes. I, the, all the ties are all coming together. Shout out Gavin Morgan also and his alumni. Everything's everything's coming together, though, with Utah. I saw an interview Carolyn Cameron did. I think Bucci did one with them. The new owner as well, Ryan Smith. Uh, seems like a great guy, forward-thinking, fun, cool, young. Him and his wife um, in ownership together. Um, I mean, I think it's it's going to be good. They're, they're launching season tickets out the door right now. They're going to renovate the arena up to 18,000, I think it is. And last time I checked a few hours in, they had like, 11,000 season tickets sold crazy, crazy, crazy. And a lot of people are making about the market. How many, you know, 1.5 million people or something. It's the fourth fastest growing metropolitan city in the United States. So, is it really? Yeah. Okay. So there's some stats that we don't know about, but, um, I went there. Yeah, I was there, got my eyes welded shut, but I also went there during the lockout, spent some time there. My brother was playing for the Grizzlies. And so I, I helped coach and when did um, you go? What year was this? It was 2012, 13. Okay. Is that the lockout year? The so half short. Let me season? say they've yeah. they've upped the beer percentage since you've been there. Yeah, because there, okay. there was like 2019, it was weird. they switched it. It's the I think the max is now uh five percent, okay. but before it was it was like three percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's the coffee thing with like caffeine as well. I don't know what's going on with that, like with soda or pop, if you will. Um, I don't know what's going on with that with some of the rules there, but kind of a like odd place it was it was kind of nice though downtown with like shopping and stuff i just wonder what the players are going to get into um in setting up there we did drive out to where like is it sundance like a film festival they do out at like in the mountains there there's like a film festival you drive all the way out to this place i forget the name of it in the chat they can help me probably old olympic like village or something like that no What's i don't know called? what it was there's like a there's like a is it sundance there's like a rich little town out there thank you pasha pasha just grinding for us the thank you um park city that's it there it is laura oh, thank you laura laura yeah, unbelievable park city park is incredible city. man is that's that, it? Is that it okay no, yeah. salt lake city was the olympics yeah but I thought. But park, they probably did some city stuff around there was, that's a skiing yeah. area yeah it's like know, kind of the ritzy ski area park city this little town it's kind of beautiful nice we went out there for dinner uh with my parents when they were in town and and it's just short distance outside but they but ryan smith did say they have all the winter game capabilities there. A lot of people train there. He said a lot of winter sport athletes uh, live there and train there. So there's all these things They're all around for 2034, I think too. For oh, the really? Olympics to come back there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Wow. So this yeah. guy might just be hitting a jackpot right, right now. Good for them. And one thing I noticed too, which is like so coyotes like 
they took that team picture after with everyone on the ice. I was watching, you know, fans crying, feel terrible for them. Um, Heat Daddy and Schmaltzy all <laughs> torn up. The you mullet know. mega bowl. The mullet <laughs> mega bowl. What do you say? They're taking our guns. Now they're taking <laughs> our team. <laughs> He's the best. He's oh. a beauty. Those guys do such a good job. Um, but I noticed they took that team picture, Merles, and I know there was a lot of people there. They could have arced the, the, the arc a little bit better because there's a, there's an Arizona state logo and there's a coyotes logo in the middle. It ended up forming around. And when you look at it, it's, it's an Arizona state logo, like right in front of the boys, right in front of like, that's so fucking perfect. Perfect way perfect. for them to go. Oh, like it's like, you could arc it around this, the, the, the coyotes logo maybe to make it look like they're the coyotes, but no, they arced around. It just worked out around that, that, Arizona State logo, just brutal. So, so one thing that came out yesterday, I'd love to get you guys' opinion on this, is Wyshynski, Greg Wyshynski of ESPN reported that there's a good chance that next year Utah goes into the season without a team name, that they could be Utah HC, Utah Hockey Club, kind of like we saw the Washington Commanders do a few years ago. I know Pasha said that it would be an absolute nightmare in the group chat. Like, What do you guys think of that? Yeah, I think that's you a terrible have a name. idea. You got to have the colors, the name. This I think colors comes out next week. All right, is yeah. what I've heard. This is the year. Like everybody's going to be buying the new merch and get them all in. Well, I think you same. Can't have them going around Utah hockey. Club. Same with the PWHL. Like they just like Toronto, New York, Boston. Like they haven't gotten names yet. I know they want to get their league going, but I think a little bit. You you got to have you know the team name, yeah. and I think that's coming for them as well. Um, so I think it, it'd be wise for Utah. And I, I mean, you don't want to rush it. Of course, you've got some time, but, but I, if, how fucking long does it take to pick a team name? I like, feel like this you, happened pretty quick. No, yeah, like you can you can buy a franchise, but you can't name it. You can buy a franchise in like a week, but you can't name the franchise in a year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Who That's knows minesies. what it'll be? That's minesies. one of the minds. Yeah. 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 I think it'd be cool if they if they bought the Grizzlies, if they bought the Utah Grizzlies, it's an established logo like it's the, just, yeah. people already have jerseys merchandise and stuff make it so. cooler make it a little cooler yeah, it, that's like a dark green kind of and black i thought it was pretty nice too they could update a little bit maybe cooler colors go on the maybe the jazz yeah they could, they could a little purple little purple hint in yeah. there and is there purple in the nhl i don't, I don't think, think there's the purple. kings kings have a kings little. have that yeah 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 yeah, I love when the cities are the same colors like Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pirates, Penguins, Steelers. I love that when the cities are the same. Yeah. That'd be cool if they did. So that. congratulations, Utah. Congratulations on your new team. Sorry and apologies. And uh, what a run to the Coyotes and their fans and their media and their employees. Um, but it, it, it something had to happen. So uh, we move on. There's a re new relocated team with all the assets, the players, the draft picks, the staff. Now I'm part of a relocated team like you. You had the Thrashers. I had the Coyotes. So yeah. I saw player. someone on social media, a buddy of mine, Tim uh, McAuliffe of Sportsnet. He tweeted, can the Jets have their history back now? Because the Jets left and it was like a share. It's always been like a shared Coyotes, Jets thing. And then the Jets went back and now they kind of share. Like I'm a Jets alumnus, technically. So am I, with an asterisk. Am I technically a Utah alumnus? You're a, you're a Utah. Wow. You haven't even played a game yet. And that's I'm an amazing. Alumni. You're an alumni. <laughs> I just thought, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Welcome to the team, Merles. Welcome to the alumni. Nice. Um, but maybe the Jets do get their kind of history and all their things back now since that team's not there. Or does it keep going down this, you know, tree, like a trade tree, tracking it, tracking it, tracking it? So we will see. Uh, in the NHL, Sabres fire their coach, Merles. You got yeah, something on the no, chat? Dave Christie's on here. He wants to put the money up. I don't know what it's about here. He's all over us. He wants us in the 18 team dynasty league. I don't know where that money goes. I don't know what a dynasty league is. The but... boys would not. All right. If it but... makes him feel any better, we don't see any of this yeah. money that's donated. To <laughs> yeah. The where does that YouTube. money go? No idea. No idea. It's so... like a fine fund. Like, where does it go to? What kind of party are we having after? Thank you for donating, though. That's huge. Hit my Venmo. You yeah. want to give us some money? Hit my Venmo. <laughs> Hit G's Venmo. Donate. To... He'll share it with us. Donate to the police t-shirts that are on there you've heard yes. dave go crazy about them great cause it's happening way too much also while we're on that thinking of dave tonight rough and rowdy oh. don't forget about that people dave big cat on the call and then dave's gonna fly probably overnight or tomorrow and he'll be at the fdny game so busy man hit those things up if you got money like him to throw around on fantasy 
throw it. Throw you ready it to do play by play for the call tomorrow? I'm doing play by play. Yeah, I'm ready to do it. Or it's color. awesome. You're doing color. Uh, I'm sorry, color. Uh, Jake Marsh is doing play by play. Professional sent out. I uh, communicated with him and planning and his uh, his notes. And his info sheet he sent his out. His info sheet. The one that was handwritten by him. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck has he got going on pro's here? Pro's pro. But that's the thing with these guys. They all have their own techniques. Yep. Like working with the Penguins this year, Josh Getzoff does a great job. First year on TV with us this year. He's done radio for a number of years. Talented guy, uber prepared. These guys all have their own way. I remember seeing Darren Pang in Sportsnet, and he's like, I'm like a pick in his brain. I'm like, Panger, how do you do this? And he's like, well, big boy, I I, I go to Kinko's, <laughs> and I uh, I get it all done, and I get this, and I get that. And he showed me like his little booklet that he has for the year. It's ac- absolutely amazing this guy's a total pro he's prepared for anything that comes his way it's all written down he he prepares like a beast so um good to see he's prepared and by doing so prepares us right boys exactly because we'll be on are you on the pregame show i think i'm trying to rack my yeah, brain i'm all over the place i'm doing uh interviewing the captains before the game again i believe for the bat blue light i'm intermission set here and there i might even i think i'm going to jump in the booth in one of the periods for you yeah help you out there yeah and dave will be doing so that too Dave's he's jumping in and out of yeah i think he'll come and call the game with us on color a little bit in the second uh that's all going down tomorrow night at 4 15 eastern time um what is it on barstool tv barstool.tv barstool.tv Free, right? Free to watch. Free to watch. And Free to watch. The fiftieth anniversary. Be, I don't know how show. much you guys remember from last year, but I was. It was I, a gong. Show. I was in a meeting yesterday. We're going through highlight packages to run throughout the broadcast and the fights, the hatred, the anger. The uh, fire went up quick. Uh, cops mounted the comeback. Dan O'Donoghue was insane. The Peretta and Hall squaring up at center ice in front of the whole crowd. It was that was just... like at the end of the game. I was down in the runway when that happened with Merles because we were going to go like, you know, yeah, like we man on the, on the street. We were on the ice going to yeah. get the celebration and everything. And guys were just like, I, like Hall got buckled, Peretta buckled him. And I was like, I was getting like a weird feeling in my stomach. Like, holy shit. Well, like, did you see Hall went in and I mean, lefty, uh, Peretta then went in righty. And then last second he switches lefty yeah. on him. And it was biz did an interview with those two guys. It's going to run during the uh, pregame tomorrow. Oh, so yeah. he broke, he broke down the fight with both of them, what they were thinking going in. So I do know cool. talking to Marshy that there's some new players brought in. Of course they take it very seriously. They play throughout the year tournaments and weekends and against other, um, you know, police or fire department tournaments and they there's some new there's some fresh blood in the game there's a few new guys that cracked the squad i guess I the know, police has been for the skating police. every day too like yeah last year they weren't that was the thing it was like fire skates every day police doesn't have the ability to but i was told the police were all given a week off before this wow yeah that they're they're taking this as seriously as ever and i've said it once and i'll say it again i'm on my guys in blue. I'm on the police this year. I want to see the, the underdogs get the W. Well, they haven't won since 2015, yeah, I believe. It's been, a while. it's been a long time since they've been getting their uh butts kicked. And it was what four to one or five to one after like the first period. Yeah. Uh they and they had to they had to battle bit. back. Donahue, I yeah. believe, yeah, had a six big, four at one point. Didn't he have a big night? He oh. like a hat trick. Yeah, he's and, insane. Yeah, he's he's by far their best player. And we'll see I, this year what happens. I believe it's six in a row because I got that in my interviews ready to ask the, you know, the important questions. I'll be down there being a real journalist, asking the captains, what are they going to do to change the six game losing streak or keep the six game winning streak going? But so stay that, tuned we'll for that. Tomorrow. Rough and rowdy tonight. Buy roughandrowdy.com, buy rnr.com. Get that tonight. Huge card, massive guys. The the main event fight is is just two monsters going at it. They tilted the other day at the weigh-ins. <laughs> if you missed that, awesome. that it was, was absolutely crazy. Yeah. Security was tested to the max. There, <laughs> do you see the one guy brought up the kids' high school football stats? He's like, you had zero uh, zero tackles, zero receptions. You didn't play once your senior year. And the kid was like, what the fuck? How did we, you know yeah, that? He's like, we, I played D back yeah. or something. He's like, no, you were a no, he's quarterback. Like, he's like, yeah, the that's the same thing. He's, he's, like, he's like, you're the worst D back I've ever seen. And he was like, I played safety, you idiot. He's like, that's the same thing. People yeah. want to hear our playoff They're picks. Ludicrous. Calm down, chat. Yeah, we we're see getting you. there. We're getting we there. We see you. We got a show to do. We got a rundown. We don't mess yes. around here on the game notes, okay? We got you. We got you. Picks are coming. Um, Just real quickly, Cooch got the 100 assists. Matthews tried everything to get the goal. The only thing I got to say, I, I was upset. Did you see all these Maple Leafs shooting the puck? What are you doing shooting when like the game was over, Army? Would you have shot? 
Or would you have just like, remember the guy in the Capitals? He didn't, he had a breakaway and he still passed. Yeah. Him. Yeah. You, you get it to him. He did have that one chance was stopped by the defenseman. Yeah. I think Tavares found him back door and, and it hit his skate. So he had his, he had his looks, he had his chances. And how many shots did he have that game too? It was like, was he in the double digits? Yeah, I, I think, think so. I so, so it's like a guy that shoots that well, that can score like that with that many chances. Uh, it just wasn't his night. I know uh, Nylander was going for 100 points too, but you wouldn't have known by watching him with some of the clips that are <laughs> popping up all over the place. Wolf. Uh, Wolf, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it all settles down. Congrats to Cooch. Amazing season, though. Uh, takes down the Art Ross. Um, but I want to get your Buffalo. I want to get your Buffalo, Merles. Your oh, Buffalo yeah. guy. Sabres finally fired the coach. It was interesting. They fired one of the assistants and the video coach. There was a real bad offsides challenge like late in the season there in one of those meaningful games. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But, um, yeah, I don't know who they're going to get. They need somebody. They can't go to the new coach again. I think three out of the last six coaches have been a new coach. My friend Seth Apperts in Rochester, great coach, great guy, but I don't think they'll go that direction this time. It, it sounds like Baruby is their number one guy. So that's who I would want them to get, get a guy with – that has the, has the pedigree and the sternness to, hey, guys, you can't play like this anymore. But I'm hearing he's going to end up in Philadelphia. Torts, as you saw, he's already worn out those guys those last 10 games. He's going to go up top. Ruby's going to go in there. That's just another. That would make boy. sense to me, though. Like he lives out there. I think his family lives out there. I saw him at TNT. He's, that's where he lives. Why don't you call your brother and ask him? Yeah. Uh, I should, yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned for that one. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. They I need think somebody like that though. Ruby, Tarian. Who else is tough out there? Still? Yeah, they need somebody to come in and just Quenville shape these guys a little bit better and there's ottawa obviously i think maybe a, an off same. opportunity there same thing what's buffalo. a better job opportunity do you guys think if you're Barube, would you rather go to ottawa or do you rather go to buffalo i think buffalo <laughs> jersey pasha says who do you want in jersey pasha Barube or quenville Barube or quenville yeah they, they need a hard guy like you said to kind of get the kids they're kind of the this right they're way. all similar teams in a way skill heavy um Besides Kachuk, they're all – Tage Thompson's huge too. But, like, besides a couple bigger guys, they're all, like – they're all skilly, skilly guys. So they need some kind of a skeleton or structure around them that's really going to be dialed in and and uh, ability for them to play. And you need accountability to do that, I think. So looking at coaches like that would be huge. Unbelievable. Great call, Pasha. Pasha. I was just saying to Pasha this morning when I met him for breakfast and we were wrestling people in New York, people are trying to butt in front of me and then we're dragging our bags down the sidewalk, walking over here to this office. And like, I'm just like, what the fuck people here? Like, you know, it's New York city. It's a gong show. Like you're, Scumbags. you're just desensitized to like living life. Well, like other people, you know, it's just weird. Cause you're in it all the time here and people just like trucking to their own beat here. It's just crazy. Uh, but I was saying, I, it's too bad. Remember last year with the Devils in, boys? Oh, so fun. Remember Pasha? I lost money to you, too. because two weeks of my life. Yeah, it was great. It was, we went it, to two games together. Was, and that's the, where the Rangers killed them, right? And the highs and lows of you last time. my way out of here. Remember the highs yeah. and lows of Pasha? Was Pasha oh. was wrong. He's an idiot. <laughs> Patrick Kane's the best. And then Kane faltered off. And yeah. Pasha had to sign outside MSG. Yeah. <laughs> Pasha in his bathrobe on Game Notes Daily. That was a great show, by the way. <laughs> oh, what do we got going on? I, I, I saw, gee, update update everybody on. I'm getting lots of, you're not doing the daily show. We're not doing the daily show. What's the new What's the new playoff schedule look like for um, spitting chiclets in general and game notes. Yeah, so the schedule for the playoffs will be we'll drop a pod on Monday. Uh, we will do a show live, recorded live on Wednesday at noon, just like this, where it's recording live on YouTube, Twitter, Rumble, everywhere. If you need a guy to run the chat, let me know. Of course. Shout out chat. And then we'll have game notes on Friday. So it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We'll, we're, give, we're, we're coming to you. We're talking hockey. Uh, and we're doing that so we we can stay up to date. We don't want to wait a week to jump back on to a week. It doesn't really make sense with the game note. So it's this this makes the most sense. Uh, we'll be traveling later on in the playoffs as well, but it should be fun. Yeah, you, lots of content. You got wit on Thursday on name show. Yeah. So you're getting something except for Tuesday. Every day is Tuesday. Who knows? Maybe we'll jump on here and there. This There's is on TNT on Tuesdays. So there it's you like go. you're going to get There's something, something every night. crazy. Maybe we'll throw on a game notes here quickly but you'll see us there'll be plenty of us you'll be sick of oh live streams it. too we'll be doing some live streams throughout the playoffs kind of yeah. like we did that time where it's we're all remote sitting in our homes um and we'll have some surprise guests and 
we kind of have the date selected for those. So those will come out in a I few mean, weeks. if this Boston Toronto goes to game seven, then there's something's going to need to be done that way. And certain things will, will happen on the fly as the series go along. Speaking of the playoffs. Yeah, let's go. Let's get to that. First, I got to, I got to recap the preseason numbers, preseason picks from the crew. Here we go. Grinnell had 10 out of 16 teams. Wit 10 out of 16. Biz 10 out of 16. Army 10 out of 16. Pasha 10 out of 16. Merles 11 out of 16. And the champion, RA, the picked 13 hog. out of 16 teams. Wow. So it is the year of the hog. I forget what I was thinking on my picks at that time. I think I picked four from each division. I was very, like, you know, nice. Um, Buffalo and Ottawa. You had Ottawa, Buffalo in. I had Boston out. (laughs) (laughs) Minnesota. I thought they would fall off. I thought no way they're gonna fall off. Of course, yeah, there they are. Seattle was a miss. We all 110 points. (laughs) Not terrible. Pitt. Pitt was a heart pick. They almost paid it off though. Yeah, I had Pitt sneaking in there. I think a lot of people did though, right? Like so, you know, I wasn't far off. That Boston one. eh, My bad. My bad. Sorry, Boston. We got the boys' playoff picks too. Yep. For, for yep. uh, get some videos from Bizwit and RA as well, right? Yep. So uh, here we'll just give them yeah, a quick. You do here, it here in the East. We got the Rangers. They're minus four fifty versus the Caps. Get plus three forty. Carolina versus the Islanders. Carolina minus three forty. Islanders plus two eighty. If you like them, Florida Panthers minus one eighty versus Tampa Bay plus one fifty. That's one I like. Bruins minus one twenty five versus Biz's Leafs plus one oh five. Those odds are all from DraftKings Sportsbook. You like a couple of those. You can parlay them together. I like to do that. If you if you like one that's too high, you add it together. If you like a couple underdogs, you get a nice – I know you like those arms, right? Look at that. You see how quick his neck turned? <laughs> the big odds. I can Whoa. move my neck now. <laughs> Thanks, to Arms Empic. But, uh, <laughs> that's enough of the business side of it. Should we roll the Let's picks? It, we baby. got biz picks up first for the Eastern Conference. All right, my Eastern Conference playoff picks round one. Let's simplify things. Let's do it by conference. So uh, let's start off with the Fugazis, the President's Trophy winning Fugazis. Congratulations. You've got yourself a first round bye against the Washington Capitals. Congrats to the Caps for getting in. Incredible story. Carberry first year, an anomaly of a team. What, dash 40 in goal for differential. Um, tip of the cap, but you're still going to get spanked. Rangers in five. The only way it goes longer than five is if Lindgren is shooting Roman candles out of his ass the entire series, including maybe even pulling a rabbit out of the thing. But uh, moving on, Carolina over the New York Islanders. Congrats to the Islanders on a great run towards the end of the season. Patrick Waugh, great story, galvanizing the group, my favorite word. But Carolina, too fast, too deep, too strong. They will smother them over in six games. Now off to the battle of the state of Florida. Great matchup. Um, kind of another Mongolian reversal, kind of like the Western Conference in the last uh, dying days. Uh, I got uh, Florida over the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa Bay, I thought you guys were done when Sergachev went down in NYC, what, six weeks ago? Uh, he's back skating. Uh, nonetheless, a great run, but Florida is just too big, too strong, and they're going to weigh on them. I got Florida in six. Uh, no disrespect to Cooch and Coop, of course. Uh, now, the big boy, best matchup happening in the East, the original six matchup. We got the Toronto Maple Leafs beating the Boston Bruins at the Garden in Game 7 with RA in attendance, bawling his eyes out. <laughs> My precious Bruins. <laughs> to reverse the curse in overtime. They're going to beat him, Game 7. And it's going to be quieter in that building than it was when I was there to witness St. Louis upset them in Game 7. You're going to be able to hear a fucking pin drop, and then the Leafs are going to be off on their run. Off and running, baby. Let's go, boys in blue. We're coming for you, Bruins. Eastern Conference, Bistradamus. I'm out. There he is. No surprise there on the Leafs and going against the Islanders, but that's Biz has picked. He'll break them down more on Chicklets on Monday. This was just a quick one because we know how the internet is. If all of a sudden they waited till Monday, oh, well, you saw they were up one game. They were up, they were down one game. That's why you picked them. So we got it all on paper. It's done. Now we move on to G. Great shirt. G East picks. 
had to wear the the Bissonette clown nose shirt for this one. And we'll start with the Bruins. I got the Bees over the Toronto Maple Leafs in seven. Uh, this will mark the 17th playoff series between the two teams. Uh, the fourth in the past 11 years. The Bruins have won all six. Um, so... I love the bees. I think everyone wrote the Bruins off just kind of like you said this off season, and they've mm -hmm. never really given them a chance after they lost Krejci and Bergeron. But I have a stat for you guys here. So in 2023, Bergeron put up 58 points. Krejci put up 56 points for a combined 114 points. 2024, the two centers, Charlie Coyle. I think they're pretty on point, Pavel right? Zaka. Charlie Coyle, 60 points. Pavel Zaka, who Pasha once called the bum. 59 points for a combined 119 points. So that's five points more than uh, Krejci and Bergeron had last year. And let me say, Ber Patrice Bergeron is an irreplaceable center. So yeah. is David Krejci. He's a wizard in the playoffs. But people are massively underestimating what Coyle's done this season, which uh, Pavel Zaka's done this season. So I love the Bruins. I think the Bruins have the better defense, the better goalie. Uh, it's tough to say the Bees have a better top six than Toronto. But what wins your games in the playoffs, defense and goalie. So I got the bees in seven until you can knock off Goliath. It's like, it's tough yeah. to pick against the bees here. Uh, moving on. Um, do you guys want to go series by series? Want me to do all my picks? Yep, do all, okay. picks. Yep. all right. So next I got Tampa over Florida in seven. Tampa's just playing better hockey right now. I think for a majority of the season, the Panthers were the better team, but right now I'm, I know, I know. I'll, you're right. I, it's crazy. I'll, I'll take Kucherov. And then once you, you look at the rosters on paper and you're like, Great in point. Kucherov, Vassy, Hedman, like they still have all these guys and they're raring to go. So I just, Tampa's one of those teams. I almost consider them like the New England Patriots in a sense of like, I'm just not betting against them. Yeah, they're scary. I know they're, they're, they have that cachet with them. Exactly. So I got Lightning prevailing in seven there. Uh, moving on next, I'll keep these ones short. I got Rangers over Capitals in five. Uh, I think that'll be a pretty easy series. Capitals, it was a fun year. They made the playoffs, mm -hmm. but uh, I think their time is coming to an end. Uh, Carolina over the Islanders. I got that as a sweep. I think the Carolina is just so good this season. And if there's ever a year that they were to do it, it would be this season. Jake Gensel is fit like a glove there. Uh, I just think, yeah, the Carolina is just so much better of a team. Good for the Islanders for getting in, but... I said it, I sent the Islanders to the Mindsies. I don't know if you guys remember in the middle of the season <laughs> yeah. and I said, it's time to blow it up. I still kind of feel that way. I just don't feel that this roster, they'd have to make some serious, serious changes, I think, for them to be a Stanley Cup team. So I got yeah. Carolina over the Islanders in four. Now to, to the Western Conference. No, nope, no, no. We're okay. going to stay in the East. We're going to get the wit on video here. Okay. The wit is going to come in with his five. Er what up, guys? Wit here. Eastern Conference predictions. <laughs> wow. I mean, the Rangers, they go on to win the President's Trophy. What a season. Shesterkin struggled. Quick quick took over the job for a little while. Now Shesterkin's back. Fox, Panarin, what a team. They got the Capitals. I have no idea how they got in. Minus 40. Lindgren's been incredible all year. What a story. He's facing off against his brother. But it's just, it's too much for them to handle. It's too much. The Rangers beat them in five games. We then got uh, the other division winner, the Panthers. They end up taking over at the very end. I think that them and the Lightning are going to be the most entertaining first round series. And I just, I believe, I believe in both these teams, but Tampa Bay, Vasilevsky, Kucherov, Point. I think it's going to be amazing. It could go either way, but I'm taking Tampa to win a game seven on the road. I actually changed my mind. I originally thought it was Florida, but Tampa to win in game seven. We're then going to go back over to the Metro where Carolina, the best team in the East, in my opinion, they are going to smash the Islanders. I said they smashed them last year. They actually, game six, two games in OT, but I don't think it was as close as that sounds. This year, they get it done in five. Just two shit kickings in the Metro. And then we go to Florida, Toronto. I mean, Boston, Toronto. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was like 1957 Toronto beat the Bruins in the playoffs. It's been it just pathetic dominance. Pathetic dominance by one team over another. This year, though, fuck, I think it's Toronto's year. I changed my mind on this one, too. Earlier, I had Boston in seven. I'm going Toronto in seven. I'm going Toronto in seven. Maybe even six, but I got like Toronto moving on there. 
which would give us Tampa Toronto in the second round and Rangers Carolina, which would be incredible. That's the East first round, folks. There it is, the wit. Like we just said, it's a little surprising. He took Toronto, that uh, him and Biz on the same side. That's very, very interesting. But now, no New Jersey Devils in it this year, so we can get some honest picks, some honest takes here from you, Pasha. What I you only got? always speak the truth, Merles. Come <laughs> on, you know that. And sorry, I hate to break up like the black pants, white shoes combo. I think it was Singsy that pointed that out. You guys had the matching outfits. So. Mine is like a dark blue, but thanks for noticing. Okay, my mistake. My mistake. I but added a new new outfit to my repertoire. I was getting beaked hard in Minnesota. I was gonna give it to you too my... on a video you posted the other day where I'm like, oh shocker, what are the odds you're gonna change your outfit once? The, the black pink whippy <laughs> hoodie, black <laughs> pants. Because the pink Whitney, you're rounding those meet and greets. It's getting spilled all over you. You, you can't, can't have see this it, on, yeah. but I added the white. There's gray Pink Whitney golf pullover. It's golf season. Get your Pink Whitney gear on barstool.com. Shout out but- to you, Singsy. I see you, buddy. I see you. Shout out, Singsy. Uh, picks. All right. You want the picks? Yep. Okay. We'll start Florida, Tampa. I got to go Florida in six. My boy Ryan Hart's an absolute beast. Second in the league in goals this year. Yeah. What do you end with? And empty netter. Last 57. game, 57. Yeah. Wow. What a year. So he's going to power them right through Tampa. Um, Leafs, Bruins. I got Leafs in six. Uh, Matthews is absolutely buzzing. He's the man. I don't love Boston's numbers under the hood. And as you all know, Pavel Zaka is a bum. So he's not your playoff caliber. What, what number is under the hood? Yeah, what's the hood? When you say you don't like their numbers under Just, the hood. Just uh, their, their, their PDO is unsustainably high. <laughs> what the fuck is that even? The mean? lingo is it's, unbelievable. Uh, the just, lingo uh, is just there, like... There's too many shots are going in. They're getting too many saves. That's not going to continue. So It's the best goalies in the league. How, do, right, you, how, do, how did it work out last year for them? Um, uh, Carolina in five over the Islanders. They're just a way better team. Gensel gives them that edge. I think Sorokin steals a game, but yeah, that won't be much of a series. And then Rangers Capitals. This pains every fiber of my being. I got Rangers in five. Rangers suck, but the Caps suck even more. <laughs> um, so I got Rangers in five. They got a fucking haul past the second round. It makes me sick, but it is what it is. Under the hood, unsustainable PDO. We got it all, Pasha. I mean, unbelievable. He I hit gave all the buzzwords. It, he hit all the buzzwords. <laughs> the lingo's all down. Our Merles, you're merchants. logging everything, right? Yeah, I'm keeping track. If you see me busy here, I'm keeping track of everybody's picks so we can make a graphic for the Instagrammers, the TikTokers out there, and then I'll put them all on a blog for you readers out there. Be on the bar stool. You'll Work find course. it all. Got to have it in, in, in cement because guys like RA will be like, oh, I had them. Didn't I have them? And I always got to send them the screenshot to the group chat. Like, no, 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 RA. This is who you had. And speaking of RA, can we go to his picks here? Ooh. What up, Game Notes crew? First round. Here we go. Firing off. Bees in five. Tampa in seven. Carolina in six. Caps in seven. Suck on that, Rags fans. Wow. He went quick on us. All right. Oh, wow. All right. All right. is buzzing. I didn't have time to dial those in. I'll get to those later. Play again. Play again for the play again. For our- what up, Game Notes crew? First round. Here we go. Firing off. Bees in five. Tampa in seven. Carolina in six. Caps in seven. Suck on that, Rags fans. Um, <laughs> I still didn't get yeah, that. I still didn't get it. I got one of them written down, but I'll rewatch that video. All right, text out. text us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see RA later out in Long Island. I hope. If anyone got know. that in the chat, just posted for us. I don't know what the <laughs> hell he said, but uh, we got it. What do you got now, Merles? Is yeah, it me? Do. It's up to you. Here it is. The big the big player. Here. All right. I went I went in order Saturday, 5 p.m. Playoffs, Stanley Cup playoffs, best time of the year, best thing ever. I, Carolina against the New York Islanders will kick things off. Actually kind of sucks that they bumped those games up to Saturday right when we're doing our uh, Heroes game and we're going to have the big show. So tune into us. You got to watch us, stream us while we're on, while watching the games as well. What a, what a, what an evening of hockey. Uh, you get it from all different angles. But I got Carolina. In five against the Islanders. The Islanders have been playing well into the playoffs, so I think they're like nine and one. It might even be crazier than that to finish the season off and, and beating the Penguins on home ice to end it. But they've been playing really good, uh, and you never know what that goaltender, what what could happen or, or what this team can do. Checking teams always make me nervous, and the Islanders are a checking team. Um, next, the 8 p.m. game, Boston-Toronto. I didn't save it for the end. I'm getting right into it. I'm going in order. I've got Boston in six games. Boston 4-0. One was during the regular season, their matchups. One was a shootout win. One was an overtime win. So 
you know, those games are fairly tight. I think they both match up really well. Uh, I go back to checking as well. Boston, a better checking team, goaltending better, defending better as a five-man unit overall. Uh, yes, Toronto can score. Yes, their power play is better than Boston's, but um, I just think Boston gets it done six games as well. Six, not seven, six. Sunday, 12.30, 12.30, you get up, you're, you watch hockey all night, you're hungover, lay back on the couch, because guess what? Florida against Tampa Bay, the Battle of Florida is going to happen. I got Florida in six. I don't know why I picked that. I don't know if I've loved Florida down the stretch here. They've looked uh, unimpressive. They've looked like casual with their game. They're not the same right now, but I do believe that they can find that level. I do believe that they can get to that level. Obviously Tampa dangerous. Florida was two and one this season in their three meetings. Also Sunday, three o'clock right after the battle of Florida, the Rangers against the caps, they were two and two this season against each other head to head, which is crazy. Caps are just like a team. The anomaly, we call them. Congrats to Carberry. Um, uh, what a season for him coming in first year with his staff. Uh, but I got the Rangers sweeping the piss out of them. Just a four game. How is she going in and out? Too much firepower, too many weapons, too deep, too fast, too good at checking as well. I think the Caps have shown that they're able to clog it up and be difficult to play against. Lindgren's been a great story, but Rangers too much, Merles. Yeah, I got to agree with you there. I'll stick on the Rangers. I actually had the Rangers as a play of the month this year in Lindgren, and the Caps came in and stole it from me. So I know what they're capable of, and I saw how they do it. They block more shots than anybody. They were blocking everything. Carberry, great young coach. And that's what team that can have a good young coach, a veteran team. Yep. Not a team full of little rookies like the Sabres. They can't have the young coach like that. I need, give him credit though. He yeah, made them change their playing style completely. Like he came in with these veteran guys and said, okay, we're going to do this boring, ugly, gross numbers. Don't match up unsustainability, PDO, all that stuff that Pasha <laughs> loves to talk about, but they're there. Yeah. And here just, they are. But they know, cause they've played like, oh, this is the way yeah. how you win where all these other high flyers in Ottawa and what's in what in New Jersey think you don't have to pay a price to win. There's a price price to pay to win army. Right? You bring in, you what come to the rink. You got one dollar in your pocket. You put your money down on my desk, but you leave with fifty cents. <laughs> so I will. I all that said, I've always been. I've always liked the Rangers. I'm Rangers in five. Next one up, I got Carolina against the Islanders. I think this is going to be a lot tougher series than people think. Islanders, uh, I believe, beat them five to four both games down in Carolina, which I will get to later in my Saturday picks. But I got Carolina in seven. Going to be a better series than most wow. people think. My This is my long shot. I love this team. Tampa in six. They got to win this round to get there. I can't believe I'm betting against Florida after what we saw last year. But Tampa in six. And the next one, the big one, Boston in seven. Go to your point about Bergeron. Remember, they were up three to one without him. It's not that big of a loss yep. at, at this point, at that point in stage of his career. You got the money factor. I know it didn't work out for him last year, but we saw, saw it in Denver. It's about coaching. It's about the, the, the system. Last thing I just saw Corrali and what is he? Columbus blue Jackets, Columbus yep. Corrali. And he talked about the machine that's in Boston. It takes a while to get going, but it just runs and runs and runs. They're a well-built machine that always, always beats the Leafs and last but not least stat. This could be a lie. I, I, I didn't even fact check could it. Could be fake. Tampa Bay won the President's Trophy, lost in the first round. Next year won the Stanley Cup. Boston, President's Trophy, lost first round. They're definitely Love winning that. the first round. Love that. Love, Love that. that. That's, there it is. So I saw Laura. If you want to go back up, Jeremiah Maxwell, shout out. We saw him at Frozen Four. Great guy veteran thank you good seeing you always here laura posted ra's uh picks <laughs> in the chat if you want to scroll back through it people you can go back and find it just on our most recent one while merles was given his pick so you can find it there because we didn't understand what ra said where, <laughs> where are we going now, now we're we going to west the west all right i'll rip through these odds real quick tell me if you like anything edmonton minus 190 versus la plus 160 crazy that they're playing each other dallas minus 140 versus vegas plus 120 whoa Winnipeg, Army's Jets, plus 115 against the Avs. My Avs, number 29, minus 135. Last one, Vancouver Canucks, minus 150. Preds, plus 130. 
Let's uh, you got, got anything to say, or should we just get to the biz? Picks? Let's get to the picks. Get to biz. Oh, hello there. Time for my Western Conference playoff picks brought to you by Mr. Bistradamus, okay? I uh, had to record this one past 1 p.m. because we saw the crazy Mongolian reversal there in the third period. Chicago Blackhawks, three goals in a span of five minutes. Thought L.A. was going to hand it over so they didn't have to play the Oilers, but they come back, they tie it up and get that point. And now all of a sudden... We have the Oilers, LA Kings, round three. Let's start there. I got the oil in five games. There's nothing, nothing preventing Connor McDavid and the Oilers from getting past round one. A great matchup for them. I did not want to see them get the Golden Knights. So why don't we head off there? The cap circumcisers. It doesn't matter how much money you got on the books or who you got in that lineup because Dallas is a well-oiled machine and you're going to take a lot of wind out of their sails. But you ain't going to take all of it. I got Dallas Stars in seven games against the defending Stanley Cup champions. Speaking of champions, we're moving on to the Jets at Colorado Avalanche. This is going to come as a shocker. You guys have already heard my breakdown on that. I got the Jets because of home ice and Connor Hellebuck in round one against Nathan McKinnon, my MVP. Um, I know. I know there's going to be a lot of angry people in the comments here. I know I got love for Cooch, but I got the Mac if I had to pick. But it's a tie. Uh, Jets over Avs. Uh, last but not least, Vancouver over the Preds in seven games. And the reason I say seven games is because Akalini booked a band. I forget which one. Three concerts back to back to back nights. Therefore, creating a conflict in the arena situation. So if it does go to seven, the Predators and Vancouver Canucks will be playing game six and then flying cross country. Well, most of the country over to Vancouver and be paying in a back-to-back -back between Game 6 and Game 7. And that's where I got Vancouver taking it at home. Of course that's going to happen because of the fucking craziness of this entire regular season. Why wouldn't it pour over to the playoffs? So there you go. Bistradamus, Western Conference picks. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Absolute character. I think he retracted on the back-to-back -back games in Vancouver. That's not a thing anymore. <laughs> Pearl Jam moved, I think, for the Canucks. So... There's business picks. You guys see uh, Mark Spector more. call him out on Twitter the yeah, other day? Yes, fence sitter. Yeah. That was so funny. Fence sitter. Obviously, he's off the fence now. He's yeah. saying McKinnon. Cooch. He so. said McKinnon, didn't he? I thought MVP. He okay. Yeah, McKinnon's his pick. Yep. Uh, G, Western picks. All right. I'll keep it pretty quick here. I got Vegas over Dallas in seven games. I just can't pick against Vegas. Uh, they're. I just feel like this team is like built for the playoffs. It sucks for Dallas that they got lined up against them because I think they were one of the best teams all year. Uh, but playoffs are a different breed. As Stone, you guys Petrangelo, know. back, probably game one. The first we time assume. we're going to see Stone, Hurdle, Eichel, all these guys playing together. Um, I, it's going to go the distance, but I got Vegas in seven. Uh, I, I mentioned, I talked about this next series on Chicklets, so I won't mention too much, but I got Colorado over Winnipeg in seven. Uh, I got Vancouver over Nashville in six games. I just think Vancouver's the better team, better goalie, better forward group. I don't know if Van has the better decor. I don't I don't know. They're, Yossi's all over the ice. Yeah, Yossi's incredible. Um, but I'm going to go with Van in six. And then um, Edmonton, L.A. I, I got Edmonton in five. Uh, L.A. looked so hopeful at one point this year. Mm -hmm. Did they not? Like, they looked so good. They looked like they could easily take the West. Uh, but those days are over. McDavid is on a mission, and I like Edmonton in five, and I really don't think it'll be too close. Ooh. Oh, where right. we go? Who's next? All right, let's go. Uh, let's check in with the Oiler. Once an Oiler, always an Oiler. The Wit. What up, guys? Wit here. Western Conference preview. The West is the best this season. Oh, murderers row. I mean, can any team come out of this conference and and be healthy enough and be fresh enough to get it done, they're just gonna kill each other. But we start with Dallas, who, oh, they end up getting Vegas. My Oilers miss Vegas, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was a nice game 82 bounce. Vegas loses to the Ducks, LA beats the Hawks, boom. Dallas, Vegas, I gotta pick Dallas. They, they are, they've been my favorite for quite a while now. They're coming out of the first round. I think, I don't even know if it goes seven. They're that good. Seems like they're like Vegas was last year. So I got Vegas. I mean, I got Dallas. Jesus. I got Dallas at six over Vegas. Van, Nashville. 
Way tougher series than people think. I think this somehow ends up going seven games. I think Vancouver at home can get it done. If Saros really goes sicko mode, though, Nashville will win that series. But I think Vancouver's too deep, too much talent up front with Quinn Hughes on the back end. I got Van in seven. I'm then going to head over to Winnipeg with home ice advantage. They got Colorado. Whew. Winnipeg proved me wrong this year. Jesus, what a club. Defensive structure, best goalie in the league. But I just refuse to think or believe that the Avs will go down after the season McKinnon's had. I think they get it done in seven. I think it's going to be an incredible series. They're going to have to win a road game seven. They lost a home game seven to Seattle last year. I got the Avs in seven and that's going to be a war. And then my Oilers, we get the Kings three years in a row now. It went seven games, then it went six games. This year, I think it's five. I think the Oilers take care of them in five games. And then the Western Conference second round begins. Where, I mean, if the Oilers win, we get Vancouver second round. We'll wax them, but no, we're just talking first round. Those are my teams. Van moves on, Edmonton moves on, Colorado moves on, and Dallas moves on. There it is, the vodka, vodka mag, magni. What's that word? Like the vodka, like better than a king. Just the vodka guy. That's him. Pink Whitney, Ryan Whitney. I don't know. You're, I don't know the, the word. Mag magnet, 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 magnate. magnate, something like that. Damn it. The chat, <laughs> chat. <laughs> that chat. Help me out here. I think it's magnate. Pink Whitney. Someone in the Ryan chat Whitney. just said though, like Western Conference, big boy, fu hockey. I look at all these teams, boys. Who seeing these picks? Woo. Wee. Every series. Woo -wee. <laughs> good Who's Western up? boys. A lot of good Western boys yeah, out good there. Good Western boys. Well, you got Pacha. Look at it. By the way, you see the production you guys going on Mogul? here? Were you Boom. Talking? Boom. Mogul? Was Mogul. Was Mogul the word? Mogul can be it, but there's another one. Ma there it is. Magnet. Magnet. But I don't know. Magnet. That didn't sound Mogul. Right. Mogul, Mogul, Mogul yeah. sounds better. Baca Mogul sounds good. Sorry. Yeah. Sar Whitney. Sorry. <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it, too. Um, Pasha's back in this seat, just like that. We're we're like magic. Like my daughter says, the Easter Bunny's magic. He's exactly. there. He's there. He's everywhere. It's all smoke and mirrors. Um, all right, I got Colorado in six. Um, as far as quote unquote good teams go, is there a bigger fraud team than the Jets with a dustier mm -hmm. roster? I mean, Nikolai mm -hmm. Ehlers aside, who's filthy, that mm -hmm. team is so dusty. <laughs> so Colorado in six, they get rolled by Mac Daddy and the boys. Um, <laughs> Dallas and seven over Vegas. That's going to be a hell of a series. It's insane. That's a first round matchup. That should be a Western finals. Um, I give Dallas the edge just because Ottinger is looking like Ottinger lately. And, uh, you know, if he's playing at the top of his game, I like him more than what Vegas has got in their net. Um, Edmonton and six, Connor McDavid. That's all I need to say. And then uh, my second squad, Vancouver, my Nucky boys. Uh, I got Knox rolling the Preds in five. Uh, Quinn Hughes is just too dominant. He's going to take over that series. Um, let's go nuts, baby. Nuts in five. No, no underlying stats for the Jets. You just dusty. Just a dusty <laughs> roster, okay. man. Just oh, a right. dusty All roster. Right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pasha, okay. once again, outside the box. Okay. Did I hear Oilers Kings from you? Yeah. Oilers and six. Oilers and six. All yeah. right. All right. Who's up yeah. now? All right. All right, and this one's that's... even quicker. So, oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. I better get dialed <laughs> in. Laura, Laura, get ready to log this for us in the chat. Edmonton in six, Vancouver in seven, Winnipeg in six, Dallas in six. Let's go. Enjoy as you were. All right. I caught Edmonton in six and Dallas in six. Can we do six. that again? Let's do it one more time. He's Run really it back. Edmonton in six, Vancouver in seven, Winnipeg in six, Dallas in six. Let's go. Enjoy as you were. And then I caught Winnipeg in six and then Van in seven there. Dallas in six, he said, I think. Edmonton six, Van in seven. Yeah, one more time. Give it to us <laughs> one more time. Will, Will has it. Edmonton in six, Vancouver in seven, Winnipeg in six, Dallas in six. Let's go enjoy as you were. In seven, Winnipeg in six, Dallas in six. Wow. We asked for a quick video from the boys. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, all right, he does a man. He does it by the. Does it by exactly what he's boom, told. Boom, does boom, what he's boom. told. Very robotic. By the way, I did see it in the chat. It came up, magnate. It was like wealthy, influential person. So yeah, that's wit. Yeah, way to go. That's yeah, that is wit. One hundred percent. New word. There we go. Am I up now? 
Army, Western Conference pick, good Western boys. Big FU, Western hockey, Western people, steaks, beers, throws both. They don't care. Let's go. This is big time stuff right here. Every series is going to be a battle. Getting out of the West, going to be a battle. I go in order again. Sunday, 7 p.m., Winnipeg against the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, Winnipeg was 3-0 and against them this season, but like you know I'm on the Jets. I'm a Jets guy through and through. I think Jets in seven. I think this is going to be a monster series. Obviously, what they have, the McCars, McKinnons, Arantanins, uh, tough to get through, no question. Seven games for Winnipeg. They're moving on. Uh, Vancouver, Sunday, 10 p.m. start. Uh, I got Vancouver in six. 3-0 and against Nashville. I think it'll be harder than we think, but I think Vancouver pulls it off. Monday, 9.30, Dallas versus the Golden Knights. Um, Dallas and seven. I don't think I don't think Vegas wanted to – I don't think anyone wanted to play Dallas, obviously, for obvious reasons. Ottinger, their team, they're stacked, they're deep, um, and they are a boa constrictor of a team. They just strangle you as a game goes on. Imagine a series. They're going to be tough. They're getting new guys back in the lineup, as you said, Stone, and they, they need time to get their wheels under them. I just don't think they're going to be where Dallas is at right now. Um, Although Vegas did go three and zero against them during the regular season, one shootout and one was a OT win. Uh, Monday, ten p.m. Merle's Edmonton against L.A. Edmonton was three and one against them. One was a shootout win, uh, but Edmonton too much. I think this will be a six-game series. Edmonton in six. Uh, McDavid on a mission didn't get the Art Ross. Not a big deal. He's going for the Holy Grail. So I think you get through it through LA. What is this? The third time they faced each other too. Yeah. This will be the third time. Yeah. Um. Pretty good series. It takes me back to childhood, watching. Well, not childhood. My teens watching that those exciting Edmonton teams going head to head almost seemingly every year against Dallas. Todd Marchant overtime goal. I think back to all of that. Those are great series, and we're going to have another good one with those two meeting again. Those are my picks. The, hey, do you see this one? The tsunami, 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 tsunami. Jets in seven, Van in six, Stars in seven, Oil in the seven. The tsunami. tsunami, Libby, love you, Libby. Thank another you. week, another name, another week, another, another week, name. another name. I, I saw the Vegas insider in there. He was looking to put his picks out there, so maybe he'll pop them into the chat. I know some people love the follow. Arm Zem picks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Those are my arm Zem picks. Oh, we got. Oh, should we bring him in? <laughs> Come sit, down. You got come sit down. Memesy. Memesy. Memesy, come in here. Come yeah, on. I love it. Thank come you. On, Thank you. He just arrived. This guy. Bag and Get tall. in here. Walk right in. Yeah, Walk right, right in. Do you in. got your picks, Memesy? This is electric. <laughs> only at the <laughs> only at the barstool <laughs> offices do we get this. Here he is, boys. Good. <laughs> just sponsorships all over his jersey. He doesn't care. Great in from the Euro Leagues. <laughs> <laughs> Memesy, let's go. Chicklets, Memesy. Anybody hasn't figured that out yet? Here he is, the star of the show. Look Dale at the boots Horner on the star. kid. <laughs> Snakes on a plane. <laughs> yeah. Get so, this in. Yeah, so I, I made the mistake. I don't know why, how many times I've done this, but I threw it in our big Chicklets group chat like because I was trying to buy some new dress shoes for tomorrow, and I don't know what I was thinking. I made the mistake of putting it in our group chat. And I never get a straight answer from everybody, but that, that was a funny one. He sends me the picture oh, of his yeah. boots. <laughs> yeah. That just I don't think I can rock them like you do, Dale. But Dale, gonna, do you have any picks? Yeah. I, I yeah, I wrote them down. Okay, read them. We'll get your east and your west. Let's all just right. do it all straightforward. I can I can do mine and give you a couple seconds okay, yeah, to yeah, catch yeah, your yeah. breath here. So I'll do my west and we'll get we'll get the Dales. I'm gonna keep it a chiclet sweep in Edmonton. Everybody's on the oilers. I'm doing oilers in six. Next one up, Dallas, Vegas. Mm -hmm. I can't believe mm -hmm. Vegas screwed this up last night, but I already booked the Airbnb for the Vegas for the finals, Vegas for the draft, and for the Beer Olympics. So they got to get through this series. They were up 3 nothing on Dallas last year. If Petro's back and if Stone shows up in the series, I, I like Vegas a lot that way. But I got Vegas in six, even though the goaltending's a disaster. Next one up, I'm once an Av, always an Av, even though it was only four exhibition games. Colorado in six. McKinnon and McCarr are too much. And this is my this is my upset. Upset alert, upset alert, ding, 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 ding. This is it. Nashville in six. They reek of the Florida Panthers last year. They were the best team probably the last 20, 25 games. They have an amazing home ice advantage. Vancouver, not built for the playoffs. Small skinny, not tough, great coach. Goalie has even been playing. 
don't like them at all. Nashville in six. Wow. Wow. That's a big pick. That is a big pick. Wow. Yeah. You're not going to be able to. I know Vancouver. Uh, I know the fans. Very Pasha like, but more Vancouver heavy, obviously. You will not be able to visit Vancouver. They're already mad at me for Pedersen. So yeah, oh, my God. The Pedersen lose? thing. I, I'd, I, I, if we're going to do a trip for the conference or the cup, I'd much rather go to Nashville hey, again. Everyone's talking about me hating kids last show. Merle's hates people from Vancouver. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, this is I, just a thing. I, I just don't like them. You got to, you got, I don't like this team. They got to, they got to lose this first round and then maybe next year they'll figure it out. Too All soft. Right. It's too right. soft for me. All right, here he is. Zadorov, Myers, Joshua, Miller, question Do mark. Even from play? T. Does Myers still play? I don't yeah, know. He does. Miller's not tough. He Pedersen Gate. Score. Stakes calling it Pedersen Gate. That mm -hmm. was a time. That was a moment. That was great. I was out there last week. Yeah, I told you guys on the last show, interviewing all those guys. Talk, Hughes. -y. You're like, yeah, great that Myers and them are tough. Like, Quinn Hughes is tiny. Pedersen is tiny. Hugh, um, Miller's small. Who's the, Lindholm is small. Who else do they got? Uh, not Garland enough. is tiny. Yeah, that doesn't win in the playoffs. Yeah, it will not see. Not in the West. Not against the we West. We will see. Let's go, Memesy. What you got, buddy? Give the people what they all want. Right, here we go. I'm just gonna bang out yeah. all, all. Do it RA NBA. style, just quick. Boom. Stars six, Jets seven, Canucks five, Oilers four, Rangers four, Canes six, Panthers seven, Bruins five. Wow. <laughs> Memes he I, hates I give the, the Leafs. Sweep, I'll, get, I'll give Leafs like one one game. How heartbroken were you also on Tuesday night of oh, this I week? I when... called it in the group chat. I was like, they're going to have like come back and then. Uh, and they did again. Empty netter. Yeah. Unbelievable. Hey, how that worked out. Absolute joke. Yeah. <laughs> we should. I was saying during our thing before you arrived, they should have done all those games on Wednesday night when the Pens played the Islanders oh, and yeah. all those teams would have been playing at the same time. NHL, think about it. There's Memesy. What a legend. <laughs> absolute beauty he's with us on the trip he'll be with us at the game tomorrow night on long island uh for the heroes game 50th anniversary great to have you here you look amazing by the way thank you somebody <laughs> called you in the chat dale earnhardt because of the jacket <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i thought everyone's always like are you a nascar fan i'm just like i'm a dale fan <laughs> <laughs> dale Dolbach, yeah. a lot of dales out there i love it buddy what do we got now, Mur? Uh, I just wanted you to want pop your... up the uh, DraftKings Cup champion odds here up on the screen. Yeah, pop that, that up. Ready. There we go. And see who you like, anybody. I took Vegas earlier at 12 to 1. Can I give you my pick? I'm, I'm, I was going to maybe – I might wait on the Avalanche. I got a feeling they might lose that first game. No, they're not going to lose that first game. You want to wait for the odds to my, change. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that, but I think I'm going to have to lock in my ads. I already locked in Vegas because I thought – they were going to get into that easy Western bracket. And I wanted to catch those odds. Obviously I'm a loser and it flipped their other way, but can um, I let you guys know my cup like? odds yeah, that I like? got before the season? Yeah. So I took, uh, so I got, I took Vegas before the season. Um, so I got Vegas here. I'll pull it up, but I got Vegas. I got Toronto. Toronto was my cup pick at the beginning of the season. Mm. So I have Toronto. Uh, I got Boston and Edmonton. I think those are four pretty those good are, Those are good, but you left out the one. And this is the one I'm riding. And this is who I would pitch to to uh, Dave Portnoy as well, who is in search of greatness, in search of not a lot of people are talking about them. And we know this. You know I'm on them. Pasha said they're dusty. They're just <laughs> not. They're rolling. At the end of the year, rolling. They got the best goaltender in the league. He's going to win the Vesna. Uh, they play sound team hockey. They're heavy. They're tough to play against the Winnipeg Jets. The Winnipeg Jets are going to roll this year. It's The West is harder maybe than it's been in a long time with all these teams that are in there. It's going to be a challenge. And for them to get through the abs in the first round, which I have in seven, but I would pitch Prez. The guys they picked up also, I think, just like, you know, um, veteran guys that know how to score in certain areas that can play with anyone. They're very adaptable players. Monaghan, who they got from Montreal, and your boy from uh, New Jersey, who he was freed. He was allowed to leave to Foley uh, in Winnipeg. They've been huge down the stretch. They've got speed. They've got ability. They've got checking. One of the best third lines with Lowry uh, in the league. Um, no one's looking at them. And I, I, what are the odds on them? 20 to 1. 20 to 1 odds on the Winnipeg Jets. And as hard as this year is, and as big of a gauntlet wow. they have to run in the West, that I, I, I look at the Jets and I think, hey, 
with what they did, where they were. They almost won the division. I was on them all year. Watch out for the Jets. Watch out for the Jets. Watch out for the Jets. Okay, yeah. I, I just that path now is just horrendous. Horrendous. I, I mean, I don't like. I watch the Oilers. They don't. They have not impressed me. But now their path, Kings, and then Vancouver or Nashville. I think I like. Wow, like what a yeah. different path that is. I saw somebody asking about Mr. Ice. I'm pretty sure he's going to release his tonight. I know he's in the Bahamas, so he's he's doing a lot of homework on it. But uh, the boys at Barstool have been good on the futures. Bar, uh, Dave, Big Cat, so that they've been pretty good. I, I I would I would tune in. I'm trying to get him to wait and do it on Rough and Rowdy to spice that up a little bit, or maybe even wait if he'll really wait till FDNY game. The chat's hilarious. Some guy goes Jets. Jets finish the season eight in a row, eight wins in a row. Then the next guy, Jets suck. <laughs> That's the internet in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Jets. That's my pick. You got it here first. You can steal it if you want, Dave. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll try to sell you more on it tomorrow night at the hockey game. But um, uh, my my big one, if I'm doing that, is Tampa Bay, twenty five yeah. to one. That's my my long shot play. They got. Can the you goalie, imagine they, they get the Sergachev back too? I seen he's skating. Like if if they can go deep enough, like you said, and then all of a sudden they can get Sergachev back. I mean. Woo, baby. They don't have a tough path that tough either. Like the, that declare has been unreal. Unreal. Like we talked about. He's Dumba has been up. good. Uh, Vasilevsky started to turn a corner. They're, they're a scary team. 25 to one. You're like Canucks are 16 to one. The Canucks. Leafs, Canucks. 14 to one for the guy? Leafs. Are you not going to, if you, if the Leafs <laughs> in the Tampa Bay played each other, who would you take? Tampa. Yeah, I would take Tampa. Yeah, no so question. like, look at these odds. You're getting 25 to one compared to 14 to one. Yeah, it makes no sense. Value is what they say in the business. Their, their ability to be good, but also Classy. I think for Tampa to check. They got the haggles right. of the world. Even their best players, with the exception maybe of Cooch completely, can check. Stamkos checks. Point can check. You got to be able to play that style of game through the playoffs. I look at that big time. That's why I give you the Jets. Um, what do we got here? European picks? Yeah, and this is what I was going to say. I was going to lead us right into that. If I win these European picks, everything I get, I'm putting on Tampa Bay now. I just talked myself Let's into go. making a big bet on that. But we're into the finals over there. It's getting really tough sledding over in Europe. But we're in the German final. Our boy, boy, Chuck, he better not be in the chat. The game's in 45 minutes or so. <laughs> so, But I'm on them. They, they should win at home, even up the series. So I got Berlin, money line minus 140. If you're, if you're looking for some side action, the Swedish promotion leagues going on. I talked a little bit about it on Real Chicklets. Brinus for Jurgarden, two of the most famous teams in Sweden. They're battling each other. Best of seven series. Who goes up? Brinus won the first game easily, six mm. two at home. Their barn is uh, like rocking. If you go on social media, look at that. And Brinus. And Brinus. Yeah, I played. I got a hat trick there. Oh, it's my only professional deal. hat trick in Brinus. Really? I don't know the name of the town. It's Yavla. not Brinus. Yavla. Yavla. Captain of our team when I was in Vecqua played there. It's crazy that those two teams are battling in the play-in rounds. Yeah, they should both be up. So. Like, I mean, they're historic franchises yeah. there. They're really good. And when I was there, they were very good as well. Yeah, Bjorn Salming from Brinus. Uh, Silverberg, we just said retired. I think he's going to go back and play for them if they go up. So keep an eye on them. If you if you got if you want some action, take them minus one half. You can find a buddy to take that bet for Good you. Good way to pad up the account too and get it ready for, yep. for playoff hockey. Playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. Um, there's your picks. All right, we're gonna do a little quick show mindsies here. We always got to do show mindsies. We're quick, running yeah, heavy we're on the show. A lot of picks, a lot of predictions, but we'll go quick through this. Yeah, go ahead, Merle. All right, first show up. Uh coaching. I always love talking about coaching. We got Andrew Lord, RPI alum. I didn't play with him. He came a couple years after me. Big strong guy. He went over and played in uh England, started coaching a little bit over there. East Coast League coach of the year. The Swamp Rabbits. The so, Cheese Toast. So I was doing a little research on them. They are the LA Kings, East Coast League. LA Kings, they're going to get beaten up in this round. They kind of just hired that interim coach, right? I think mm -hmm. that coach is going to be gone. Marco Sturm is their AHL coach, who they've been training to move up. He moves up. Lordo gets moved up to the AHL Ontario Reign. But congrats to Lordo. Always like to give the RPI alums a shout out when I can because there's there's not too many of us in pro hockey. I mean, also sounds like a fake name. <laughs> it does. <laughs> like, it definitely does. Like, holy shit, buddy. Like, that's a fake name for sure. <laughs> like, may the Lord be with you. And he's just riding that <laughs> cloud right to the NHL. So good for him. Congratulations. Show. That's a show pickup right there, especially with the connection. Right, Merles? Um, my show is, ladies and gentlemen, chat, boys and girls, here we go. 
it's that time of the year, the greatest time in history of any year that the sun rips around the world. We had the eclipse. We did it. We all survived, thankfully. Uh, we had a lot of things happen this year, points galore, uh, amazing moments, uh, records being set through this league. But now, but now it's what everyone loves. It's time to get ready for the Stanley Cup playoffs. It is on, baby. It's run through the wall type of season. It's getting the sun out, getting the tarps off. It's outside. It's spring. It's summer. It's patio beers. It's everything. It's playoff hockey. It's games on all night. It's with your buddies. It's texting. It's group chats. It's I told you. It's everything. The playoffs are everything we want and wished for, and Let's it's go. finally here. We did it. We got through the season. 82 damn games. It was a grind. We all did it together every Thursday. Then we switched to Friday at 11 o'clock here on Game Notes. And now, and now, people, we are ready. It's the show. It's the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Let's fucking go. Army. Wow. Incredible. Coach Army. Incredible. Huh. Holy are you incredible. ready? Are you wow. ready? It's time to go. It's the Stanley Cup wow. playoffs. It's on. That's this beyond weekend. the show. That's beyond the show what you just did. Woo! Nothing wow. better. There's nothing better. I love the cup. I love this year. I love the time of the year. I love the matchups. I love the trash talk. I love it all. We're getting it. We're in it. We're on it. Let's go. Let's go. Dale's got his boots on. Let's go. All right. <laughs> G, My, what do G, you got? Show? All right. Yeah. I To the show this week, I, I know your wife's listening, Army. So I'm going to call up the Armstrong family. Uh, I'm going to try to say this without crying, but I'm a crier. But you guys sent me and Alana package. Alana is obviously going through a really tough time right now, but you guys went above and beyond with this package. All little notes from your little girls, uh, just sweatshirts, like Stanley cup mugs, like slippers, robes. You guys went above and beyond for us. So it was, uh, it was pretty special to receive that. And you, you, you kind of take a step back when you get something like that. And so many people have sent so much stuff and reached out and, I haven't known you too long though, right? Yeah. So when you get something like this, you you really take a step back and you realize how like important some people are in your life and how awesome and how lucky you are to have some people are in your life. So I just wanted to call you guys up to the show this week. You guys, uh, what you guys did for Alana, it, it went a long way. So just know that uh, we love you and yeah, it was, uh, it was a really nice gesture. That's awesome, buddy. Yeah, we love you. We're family. We're a team. Uh, we get it done together. Texting, calls, setting me up, taking care of us. And you're right. We haven't known you that long. But when someone's in trouble or someone needs help or someone needs a smile, I got to hand it to my wife and my kids are the best. Mel, shout out to you. The best. Just the best. So thoughtful and and caring and loving and uh, From empathy. the beginning too, man. From yeah. the beginning, like she recommending doctors, like texting us all the time, asking us how we're doing, oh, how yeah. we are. It's just like that That goes so far, man. Yeah. And like the personalized notes from your daughters. Like yeah, that's that, sweet touch. It's just like that's instant. That's tears. old school. That, that you, can't, you can't beat that. So shout out. Thank you very much. And we that's love you. Cool. We love you guys. Amazing. And we're here for you, uh, no matter what. So that that thank you. That of means course, a lot. Thank you. Mel's the best. Yeah, My Mel's kids are the best. Show there. See, wow. I love kids. I wow. love kids. After all, he doesn't hate kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Mindsies. What do you got? <laughs> Hard to complain about anything after that. Yeah. Uh, but um, I'll just go with my recent trip down here on the, oh. on the Amtrak. Although I do got to take it back home on Sunday. I shouldn't chirp them too hard, but it's just embarrassing. Like I get on there. I don't even know why I clicked on the Wi-Fi button on my laptop. Of course, the Wi-Fi wasn't working. And what what happens five minutes into the ride? Oh, no cafe car today. Like Biden's I, America. I bud. mean, it's just it's a disaster. They don't have assigned seats. So the whole time you're you're working your bag in your computer and you're putting all food everywhere, trying. So nobody sits next to you. You're never making eye contact because everybody's trying to get their own two seats. Like instead of just having assigned seats and just making it easier on everybody. But I I've been riding those trains for what? 30 years, the same exact trains. Why would we not have new ones yet? So it's crazy. I don't get it. We have billions and trillions of dollars for everything else. Can we get new trains please here? Mindsies for the train system. Wow. In America. I never rode the train here. I think train systems as a whole, all across America. I mean, the Amtrak blows coming down here, but just the, like, how don't we have a high speed cross country railroad? Yeah. yeah you can do that in every other country, but America, we can't. We're the richest yeah. country in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get it. 
but I mean, I love taking the train. The Euro just, trains are good. You're right. The food cart, you get VIP too. You get your own little area and everything. You can do all that. Uh, sounds like me walking down New York City can, streets can I get today. Wi Fi and in, in you're a, just lucky you didn't croissant? get shanked in the throat on that train by the sound. <laughs> Probably of it. will on the way home now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You'll be yeah. in one of those things where you have to pull it open and you look in there. There's a guy with a stick with a bag hanging off of it. There's like a bunch of dogs with them and shit. They're like, you got to lay on a hay bale in the corner of that <laughs> cargo one. Unbelievable. My mind's ease um, is just people arguing over the MVP. And I get it. I get it. But people want your picks. And, you know, Biz got shit on for sitting on the fence. And now he says it's McKinnon. He'll get shit on for that. I think it's Kucherov. Uh, you can look at all the stats. You can look at anything. And anyone can have their opinion. And, but like, people are just like, no way. Oh my God, you didn't do this or you didn't do that. You got to watch the games. You got to watch the players. You got to see the teams. You got to know, in my opinion, Kucherov was the guy that was, you know, if you like the most valuable person to his team, he provided the most value to his teams, production wise, all that stuff, massive separation, um, with what he was able to do this year. And it was, it, it just like reminds me of when Taylor Hall won it with the New Jersey Devils. And he had that season. They got in the playoffs. And just the season he had, Kucherov did that on steroids. He wasn't on steroids. His production <laughs> and his, his game was on steroids. He's obviously not on steroids. We we, we know what he looks like. But He was um, on something at the All-Star game, though. Yeah, he was on <laughs> Pink Whitney. But um, amazing season from Kuch. But, like, can we all just have our opinion and go, okay, cool. Like, if you ask for it and I give it to you, don't start, like, fighting me. I don't care. Nobody cares. It's an opinion. We yes. just want your opinion. We want to know who you pick. There's going to be lots of picks. It's probably never been harder. Everyone had an outstanding seasons from those big three guys uh, that are there. They've clearly separated themselves as the most valuable. Now it's down to like nitpicking stats that we have to dig under the under the hood. Um, uh, I, like, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Why does Biz have to? Why can't he sit on the fence? Who cares? Who cares? Really? Who really cares? That's what I'm saying. Give us your opinions. Nobody cares. Gee, who are you sending down? I was going to just be like, oh, all positivity this week. But then I just started going in my head. And I thought of this situation <laughs> that happened to me last weekend. And last weekend, uh, one of my friends ran a half marathon. So we all went out to dinner for her after. And, you know, the girls down one end, guys down the other. So the guys take one, one bill, the girls take one bill. So we, the boys are all like, credit card game. Let's do the credit card game. So we do the credit card game. One of my buddies loses. And then what happens three days later? Hey, $75. Can you Venmo me 75 bucks? And I'm like, whoa. whoa. Oh, oh. I'm like, this isn't the credit card game. And then my girlfriend's like, no, 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 no. That's the credit card game that, that they play. Because these are all the guys from her hometown. I love these guys. Great dudes. But she's like, that, that's the credit card game they play. It's just, and I was like, whoa. Like, if that's the credit, I would have just thrown my card down and been get like, hey, boys, Venmo points me. points or whatever you yeah. get. Like, whatever you can get on your card. Maybe you have some things. Use it every time. Venmo me. Exactly. But oh, wow. The credit card game is if everyone puts their credit card in a hat, the credit card that gets pulled out, you pay. You pay. You don't Venmo people. You don't ask for Venmos. You don't ask for some cash. And as I was walking out of the restaurant, because I could see it in his face, he's like, fuck. Like, this is a big one. I'm like, hey, man, if you need me to kick you a couple bucks, like, mm -hmm. I got you. And he's like, no, bro. No, no. I lost the game. It's This is the game. And I'm like, okay. Three days later, get that Venmo. And I'm like, what? Whoa. I so was he stressed just, because it pulled out like $300 out of his account right away? Was that the stress or why was he playing? Like, this is the game. Like, like he knew what the game was. I don't get that. Me either. That's and, the thing. Yeah. That was my biggest question is like, especially cause they were all like credit card game boys. We're doing the credit card game. And I'm like, all right, let's rip the credit card game. I fucking love the credit card yeah. game. A little gambling at dinner. Yes. And it's like, yeah, that's a credit card game. So you're yeah. going to the Mindsies if you don't get it and you're asking for Venmo's yeah, later. Yeah, 100%. Great 100%. guy too, though. My and, best. And what, one, sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go yeah. ahead. I was going to say my best credit card game story is you. <laughs> Ground round, Wilkes-Barre, <laughs> massive table, Mindsies. We're actually in the Mindsies. Merle's mush. I never win. Oh, no. This is it. Oh, down to the last two. He's in it. He loses. He has his like little money clip wallet thing throws it across the ground <laughs> he threw his wallet across the restaurant his whole wallet gone that's what i remember that's from casino you, buddy. yeah right casino there. no i never win of course oh well i'm glad i waited for your story but that proves my point is that that's the one rule it's the last card out some people think that it's the first one out no you gotta oh we played first card out no no, like, no. see another mind's ease you gotta you gotta build the drama you need that guy out yes next guys yes and then you get down to the last two and 
and I, I'll ask your guys' opinion on this one. When it does get down to the last two, I've seen this many times. They'll just like, all right, let's just split it, us two. Do you think that's allowed, or I don't should like you live, live for the one? No hedge, team. No, no hedge. hedge, team. No yeah. hedge. Yeah, yeah. Live for the one. Live for the one. All right, for the there one. it is. Official credit card rules on game notes. Last card out. No splitting. No hedge. Pay the whole bill. Pay the yeah. whole bill. If you're not willing to do it, don't do it. Yeah. If you want to play buy the out. game, you can buy out. I've if, I've done that. I've, if, I've, I've dealt with people doing okay, that. Okay. If you don't want to do it, seventy five bucks. If yeah. that's what oh, it's broken okay. down like to, say I'm not playing. Out. Here's yep. my seventy five. If you're in, you got the balls. You want to throw them on the table? You throw them up there. <laughs> yep. At a boy, Merles. I'm We're glad cleaning we, it up. We're cleaning up cleaning the dining up. <laughs> dining, <laughs> dining <laughs> rooms for you guys. All right, quickly, let's get through this before we shut her down. Saturday, the weekend. There's no hockey tonight. Saturday, Saturday plays EBR right here. Playoff hockey, Merles. Yeah, I won't leave you guys too too dry early. Finland final, Tapra money line, minus 105. Team's amazing at home. Swiss final, Zurich. They're going to win the league. Three-way, minus 105. Great odds on those two teams. I love them, but what you're all here for, the playoffs, the playoffs, Islanders, Rangers. I just told you what happened down in Carolina the last two games. Five, four Islanders, five, four Islanders. So I'm over five and a half minus 102, and I'm on the Islanders money line to steal game one, plus 185. Amazing. And Amazing. The last one, Bruins Maple Leafs. I ride with Monty. I ride with G. I ride with R.A., Bruins money line minus one thirty. Army gunny picks. I would go Bruins too in that one. And and on the other one, I would if I'm going to pick a winner as you're going the over because of the goal history, history, mm-hmm. history. I would just go. I would probably go Canes. And I and I'm. I would say just because opening game, it's at home. I would. I don't know what it is. Minus one and a half. Do you it. know I'm a minus Love one it. and a half guy. Love it. Love <laughs> it. What is it. Bruins minus one and a half. No, no Canes. 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 Love that. A G, you got anything? Uh, Besides the Bruins? Just bet the bees, baby. <laughs> bet the bees. Uh, All right, good. let's move on to Sunday. We got her. We got her right here Sunday. There's four games. It's playoff hockey. We'll all be tuned in. It's all day also, starting early, starting, uh, what do we got on 12 Sunday? 12.30, right? 12.30, yep. Yeah, 12.30 30, Sunday. 12.30, I think Rangers game. is three. So perfect staggered start. We've been screaming about these us illegal gamblers all those years now legalized. We've been screaming for this. We're getting it. I'm obviously, you know, I don't like usually bet the whole board, but when it's playoffs, I'm betting the whole board. Bang all four pucks. There you go. Panthers lightning over five and a half. So many weapons in that game. I just, I, I, I see that whole series. Mm-hmm. Just, the goalies are great. Don't get me wrong, but it's going to be scoring. We're getting over five and a half. It was always six and a half. So, so it's it, tightened up here. It's tightened up, but I, I I cannot say no to that one. Rangers Capitals, uh, Rags three-way, minus 135. First game back at MSG. Oh, it's yeah. going to be rocking. What's a minus one and a half on that, Mur? Oh, I can get that very quickly. You know how you. I like looking Plus at that. Plus 120. Okay, Ooh. there you go. There you go, folks. Ooh, little puck line parlay from yep. Army. Yep. And then my Jets, Avs game our jets abs game i'm on our abs my abs wow where am i start over jets abs abs minus 108 and then mckinnon anytime goal he's had the best season ever he's going to come out first game i bet you he's even scores the first goal last game canucks preds i told you i'm on the preds i'm on the preds to win the series they got to win game one if they're going to win the series preds Mm. plus 124 what is the merley special in the jets abs first game jets Avs Merley special for new t- new people out there. A Merley special is a draw. That's how I basically got this job. First time with you guys, I taught you guys how to bet a draw. Yep. And then we hit it, and then I hit tons of them through the EBR Twitter account, and that's a draw plus three ten. So sixty minute line regulation only. Do you like that way. chat? Do you like that Merley? Merley special on that one. Opening night, little OT action, Stanley Cup playoff style. That's three and three bullshit, which I do love during the regular season. We're going five on five. We're going all night. We're going all night now. It's on. It's the Stanley Cup playoffs. I love that, Merle's Great job. Merley special. That's my pick. Um, no picks from those guys. You'll see them on Twitter. But speaking of the draws, the Chatley was Chatley, a draw. baby. This in that first. Oh, there it is. There it is. I like option B better. I like option B a lot better. Actually, I think people think the Bruins are just going to pound the Leafs. I don't. I don't think that'll be the case. I don't think so either. I think it's going to be closer. I do. I'm the same I, with you. G. As as we used to say, Singsy, if he's still in there, draw lay. Just do them both. 
And yeah. that's when you're getting up to like oh, plus draw lay. Draw lay. Draw lay. Draw lay. <laughs> Let's go. Throw two checks up there. Do the draw lay. I love that. Both. I'll do the quick odds while you're shutting it down here on that. Well, sh turn into the NYPD FDNY game uh, Saturday. Coverage starts at 415. We have Portnoy, Whitney, Colby, Merles. Uh, Brian Yandel is going to come by yeah, and be awesome. part of the broadcast. You know, Boston police officer. He plays against the NYPD. Uh, we have RA, Frank the Tank, Rico Bosco. We have so many characters. And uh, it, you guys remember it from last year. It is fucking electric. It's like a oh, playoff game. I is. mean, playoffs will be going on, but it is like a playoff game. 18,000 fans. The 50th annual. We'll be doing a lot for that as well. Honoring uh, office, the fallen officer, Officer Dylan. Um, so yeah, we're very excited. Yeah. Lots going on charity. Dave will be there obviously in support t-shirts go by those Dave matches, everything going to, uh, the most recent family, as we said, it happens far too often. Um, and tonight, tonight, Friday, uh, tonight is rough and rowdy night and uh, you can go to buy rnr.com. There's nothing on it tonight. So, um, that's perfect. You can settle in for this. Some monster is going to be a slobber knocker of an event. Yeah, it's all all new fighters, all all first timers. So it, who's the guy it's I love? Be some crazy knockouts. People not knowing what they're doing. It's going to be insane. Skizat the Rizat. Remember him back oh, in the day. Yeah, Skizat the Rizat. Skizat, Skizat the Rizat. There's some characters. There's so here. many good ones, man. There's so many. There's two monsters fighting in the in the final card. They got into a fight at weigh-ins, as we mentioned before. But tune into that tonight. Rough and rowdy. You can't go wrong. Slobber knocker of an event, obviously. Um, with, with them down there, Dave, and big cat on the call. They'll have uh, everyone involved also as they usually do with that. So, and, uh, Dave, you, you said at the beginning of the show, but Dave's, uh, still the t-shirts are still open right now for the officers who have, uh, recently, uh, passed in Syracuse. On, yeah. Onondaga he wants County. To get to so Onondaga sheriffs, I think the shirt says on it. So that's out in Syracuse. There was actually one a couple of nights ago in Albany. It's just, it's Horrible. out of control. No time for that. I think um, they've raised like eight hundred thousand dollars. Also, off, right now, four hundred yeah. grand, and Dave has matched four hundred grand. I think that will continue. Dana White put money in. There's over well. a million for Officer Diller, so it's it's insane. Man. Yeah, get it, on there, buy the shirts, make Dave pay, put some of those winnings back from his golf and basketball championships. But speaking of gambling, DraftKings, I just looked up those odds of the opening day draw lay plus seventeen oh six. That's on the DraftKings Sportsbook. I'm telling you, I love DraftKings Sportsbook. It's not because of it's an ad. It's the easiest one to just work around. The live stuff is right there. It's the best thing ever. DraftKings. If, you, if the fantasy is more your thing, do the DraftKings Pick 6 app. Love that. That is, is a really fun way to watch the games. And uh, let's just have an amazing weekend, boys. Yeah, amazing weekend. It's best time of the year. Stanley Cup playoffs. Thank you, Dale, for popping in. Thank you, Pasha, G, Merles, the chat. Everybody have a great weekend. Let's do it.